family and frenemies of Donald Trump. Some men look at the world and ask why. Donald Trump looked at the world and asked, what's in it for me? His generosity knew only limits, and he never once failed to put himself before others. He was a devoted father who every day tried to teach his children the wrong lessons of life. Be quick to anger, <clears throat> never let go of a grudge, see the worst in people, and treat them all equally, based strictly on how much money they make and what they look like. So many wanted to speak here today, but couldn't break their non-disclosure agreements. And our hearts go out to Melania, who RSVP'd maybe. Donald <laughs> always said he knew she was the one the moment he saw her and said those three little words, add to cart. Donald loved so many things, money, golf, lawsuits, porn stars, dictators, organized crime, and the 35% of the American people who still like him. The other 65% could go fuck themselves. He once said that the experience of not being in Vietnam taught him the most important lesson of all, that there's no problem so big you can't lie your way out of it. And when it came to flouting the law, he was a criminal's criminal and intellectually a midget among giants, a man of few words, about a hundred, mostly tremendous, disgusting, strongly, and shithole. <sighs> Donald Trump never met a man he liked, and yet he always suffered fools. You could tell him anything and he'd believe it. It's painful to think he could still be with us if only his personal physician wasn't that lady who believed medicine came from outer space. Donald's greatest hero, Winston Churchill, said of his own mortality, I'm ready to meet my maker. Whether my maker is prepared for the great ordeal of meeting me is another matter. Well, God, Trump's your problem now. As for me personally, I I guess what I'll miss most about Don is his dull wit. He was never laughing. And when he made you laugh, it was always unintentional. But as a walking parody of himself, he was a challenge to satirize and made me a better comedian for it. He died as he lived, wearing makeup and lying in front of all of us. So fly free, whiny little bitch fly free. May you find the peace your Twitter thumbs never could.